Sanbonani Dumelang Abusheni, good evening and welcome to the ESCOM Development Foundation's Business Investment Competition Awards. Because COVID-19 refused to end in 2020, we are doing this virtually and coming directly to your home tonight. My name is Andy Lokumalo and I'll be your host and I look forward to spending the next hour or so celebrating South African entrepreneurs with you. Please make sure that you and those watching with you are safe. Make sure you have a mask on, you're sanitizing, and you are staying socially distanced. Now, let's give other people a few more minutes to join us while you and I get entertained. Hello, Dumelang, Lekai, Ritain. Hello, Dumelang, Lekai, Ritain. Welcome to the ESCOM Development Foundation's Business Investment Competition Awards for 2021. Now, it's no secret that most economies around the world have been hugely impacted by COVID-19, and we here in South Africa are no exception. Our president and even economic experts tell us that small businesses are key to our country's economy. As an entrepreneur and investor myself, I must agree. Entrepreneurship is about identifying the gaps and challenges that society is facing and coming up with the solutions that solve those. We are here this evening to celebrate those who've achieved just that. Don't forget, you can get in touch with us on either Facebook or Twitter. The handles are on our screens. Let me now hand over to Ms. Ntato Minyogu to officially open the awards for us. Ntato. Thank you, Andile. Program Director, ESCOM Board Members, ESCOM Development Foundation Board Chairperson, Mr. Reta Muman, ESCOM Development Foundation Board Members, our ESCOM Development Foundation CEO, Mr. Cecil Ramanotti, ESCOM Executives and Guardians, as well as partners, our esteemed entrepreneurs, finalists of the Business Investment Competition, members of the media, and then of course, our distinguished guests. Good evening. Thank you for joining us this evening where we are celebrating entrepreneurial success. Tonight, we are also acknowledging the role of entrepreneurs as the bedrock of our economy, especially given their role in economic recovery and growth. This is a very trying time for South Africa's economy, which now has the highest unemployment rate in the world, with our youth unemployment sitting at 57%. Yet. It is estimated that SMEs make up 91% of our formalized business in South Africa, providing employment to approximately 60% of the labor force and contributing to around 30% of our GDP. Global practice also tells us that entrepreneurship improves productivity, spurs innovation and creates jobs. Therefore, enabling entrepreneurship in South Africa is a no-brainer to address poverty, inequality, and unemployment. Tonight's ceremony demonstrates ESCOM's active commitment to helping mainstream entrepreneurialism as a way of life and as the bedrock of our society and economy. On behalf of ESCOM, I commend all the participants in the business investment competition. You have risen above your circumstances and pushed through the adversity to realize your dreams of running your own business. In doing so, 
Not only have you succeeded in generating an income for your families, you have also created much needed economic opportunities for your communities and the country. As emerging business owners, the odds always seem to be against you. Research shows that 70% of small, medium and micro enterprises fail within their first two years of establishment. But by making it this far in the business investment competition, you have overcome the first, if not the hardest hurdle for a small business, staying in business. We applaud you for your resilience and your grit. Small businesses often face challenges such as a lack of access to funding, cash flow constraints, non-payment, and access to markets. However, through hard work and perseverance, some businesses eventually grow into established enterprises and multi-million rand conglomerates. This is a success story you are crafting, and we are pleased to have been part of your journey to success so far. We do this as ESCOM with the understanding that support for small businesses must be direct, coherent, and deliberate if we are to achieve the 11 million new jobs that South Africa's National Development Plan envisages by 2030. ESCOM is more than power plants, networks, and electricity. We are also committed to nation building and creating shared value. Through the ESCOM Development Foundation, we are empowering lives through capability building and skills development to address asset poverty and building of productive intergenerational wealth for the many South Africans who have been denied these opportunities in the past. In the past financial year, ESCOM's corporate social investment initiatives impacted more than 800,000 beneficiaries with an actual spend of over 67 million rand. This is despite COVID-19 restrictions affecting our ability to execute some of the planned CSI activities. On this note, I would like to welcome everyone to the 2021 Business Investment Competition Awards. This is an auspicious occasion that brings together some of the brightest and most inspirational entrepreneurs in South Africa. To all the participants, I wish you well as you carve out a niche in the market for your products and services. We thank you. Andile, over to you. Thank you very much, Ntato. It is more important than ever that we make sure that our businesses can scale up after the first two years. Now, let's hear from the chairperson of the board at the ESCOM Development Foundation, Ms. Sarita Mulman. Thank you. Program Director, ESCOM Board Members, ESCOM Group Executive for Government and Regulatory Affairs, Ms. Ntatu Manuki, ESCOM Development Foundation Board Members, ESCOM Development Foundation CEO, Mr. Sissel Ramanotzi, ESCOM Executive Staff, esteemed entrepreneurs, finalists of the Business Investment Competition, members of the media, distinguished guests, good evening and welcome. I'm honoured to speak on behalf of the ESCOM Development Foundation at this prestigious event. It is not often that business-minded people convene in the manner that we have done this evening. When this happens, it is certain that some positive development is about to unfold. This is evident today with the culmination of the ESCOM Business Investment Competition, BIC, where emerging businesses will be rewarded for excellence. In this address to small, medium and micro enterprises, SMMEs and cooperatives in February this year, President Cyril Ramaphosa lauded the SMME sector as playing a leading role in driving South Africa's economy. The President went further to explain that to achieve an inclusive economy, we need to more effectively support the growth of vibrant and sustainable small, medium and micro enterprises and cooperatives. It is therefore imperative that while government continues to create an enabling environment for small businesses to thrive, we all play our part to ensure the sustainability of SMMEs and to enable them to reach their full potential. ESCOM has been doing its bit to assist them through, through the business investment competition facilitated under its developmental vehicle, the ESCOM Development Foundation, which I have the pleasure of currently serving as chairperson. Now in its 13th year, the ESCOM Business Investment Competition aims to recognize, honor, 
reward and uplift small business owners as part of the Eskom Development Foundation's ongoing business support program. The competition is open to South African, black-owned, registered small and medium businesses that have been operating for more than 24 months in the agriculture and agri-processing, engineering and construction, manufacturing, and trade and services sectors. This competition is geared to take businesses to the next level, with over 1.3 million rand worth of prices up for grabs, the BIC remains one of the key developmental initiatives in South Africa, inspiring small businesses to continue contributing to the fight against poverty and unemployment. The overall winner will take home a cash prize of 300,000 rand, while sector winners will each receive 131,250 rand. The runners-up will receive 75,000 rand, and 50,000 Rand respectively, based on their placings. You will be pleased to note that all the participants in the competition will have an opportunity to showcase their businesses at a two-day Business Connect virtual event on 20 and 21st of January 2022. This will provide an invaluable platform for them to market their businesses and interact with prominent business people and like-minded entrepreneurs. The Business Investment Competition is one of the flagship programs through which the ESCOM Development Foundation continues to make a targeted contribution. The Foundation coordinates and executes ESCOM's Corporate Social Investment CSI strategy. This strategy supports socio-economic development programs, mainly by targeting the communities in which ESCOM operates. To this end, the Foundation drives a number of flagship programs that address specific developmental needs, which include enterprise development in the economic sector, education, healthcare, energy and the environment, rural school infrastructure development and welfare in the social sector. ESCOM remains committed to supporting government's programs aimed at curbing unemployment, improving the skills pool, stimulating the local economy and enhancing equitable economic opportunities. As the nation's electricity provider, we are mindful that enriching lives remains one of our responsibilities. We are grateful that as ESCOM celebrates its 98th anniversary this year, we have been able to make a meaningful contribution to people's lives and businesses through this program. Fellow guests, on behalf of the Eskom Development Foundation, I would like to applaud the finalists for their continued drive and determination and also wish them well in their businesses. We are extremely impressed by the number and calibre of entrants in this year's competition. The judges had a difficult task in selecting the finalists. Our sincere gratitude goes to our co-sponsors and partners. Thank you for lending a helping hand. Congratulations to all the winners. We look forward to your significant contribution to the business sector as you champion and assist the country's transition to a successful future. I thank you. Thank you very much for the words of wisdom, Madam Chair. It is now time for all of us to get up and move as we get into a celebratory mood. Ik was er niet zo met die woens betrokken Zij was bij die lady lockers Doe maar naar mijn ding werk mooi aan mijn rollen Cause I want a six pack back to look proper Draai hij spotte, vaderland een shocker Maak mijn lam, zij staan met postje Aan die brand, hij smaakt hoe blokken Praat de man, ik zie ons even zwart woe Goodness gracious, gewijs is zo flop en regget Zien zij nus, ik zoek zo mijn weet daar waar zij is Want ik wou een frans ziet gekreid Ik wou gefeind het, door she got it woe Praat mijn eyes was locked on her Then I heard my partner So you hype and it boy Put the work Say put the work Yeah, guy, guy, put the work Put the work Ik heb gezet met die woord, maar ik ben opgeniet Met jongen heeft gevraagd, ik kijk zo stiek Wou rustig wees, net blij in mijn babbel Dus swing je die rook op en aan kon trabbel Mooi gezicht, je laat die vaarsen gezond En dan ga ik wel tegen je je bol kan boos Gezouw oor die voerstel, oe so goed Gevraagd wat ze drinkt, zei ze brutal vriend Zet mij dadelijk vast in mijn web gevangen Het aan elke woord met een bek gehangen Kom drink, nou drink, gewoon mijn slikste waard Strijd dat ik kijk 
Ik was een geek met stijf Ik ski mix en die kind is aan Kakoe van Dam met die meeste plan Sy vrouw my grins like anything man Ik heb een foto die my man is een moose fan Sy poto oor Kijk hy kijk poto oor Poto oor You hy kan nie poto oor my goodness, that was amazing. As most of you know, the business investment competition covers four categories. We have agriculture and agri-processing, construction and engineering, manufacturing, and lastly, trade and services. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to get into the business of the evening. We're gonna go alphabetically. So we'll be starting with agriculture and agri-processing. And the nominees are, My name is Mpomo Haswa. I'm the founder of Precious and Pearl Brands, a company that manufactures Khemere. Khemere is a non-alcoholic ginger beer. We've got retailers that we supply to, food lovers market, and then we've got caterers who use our product. Then we've got individuals who buy our product for, for their home consumption. I'm passionate about uplifting uh, our community. Uh, for instance, what we've done with our business also, we give an opportunity to people who want to make extra money. So they buy from us at a discount and they sell for profit. The nomination is quite big for us. It's a brand validation that we are on the right track as a business. And I think our story will be able to motivate other people who are in the township because it's a relatable story to them. My name is Komo Zobanso. I farm cattle and goats in northwest Kakisano Molopo Luka municipality in the Morokweng area. We breed cattle and goats to produce winners and lambs for the red meat market. I feel very encouraged and honored and motivated to be a finalist uh, in my that someone uh, recognize the daily job that we do as a team uh, to sustain job and ensure food security for the nation. What is special about our business is we keep cattle and bulls uh, in the process to breeding calves for the red meat market. My passion is breeding cattle and goats in the most environmentally friendly manner in the process uh, creating jobs and ensuring food security. My name is Chandra Klute Gregory and I'm the owner and farmer at Our Poultry Place. We are an organic broiler producer. We grow broiler chickens. We also sell poultry equipment, feed, medication to the smaller farmers around the Western Cape and certain parts of South Africa. I started this because I wanted to generate an extra income. And we started with 300 chicks in an informal settlement and today we do about 2,000 chickens every two weeks. I'm passionate about sharing my knowledge and my experiences and making sure that other people's projects become a reality. Being nominated means the absolute world to me. It's a great opportunity. Uh, this platform also inspires others who want to start their projects and want to start from nothing, absolutely nothing. And it also creates the sense of being valued, being recognized in our industry and making a difference. Wow, what great work is being done in the agricultural sector. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to announce the winners. Starting with the second runner-up, goes to our poultry place, winning themselves prize money of 50,000 rands. Well done to our poultry place. Coming up is the first runner-up, and that one goes to Precious and Pearl Brands, taking away 75,000 rands. Well done, you guys. Congratulations. If there's a second runner-up and there's a first runner-up, there's got to be a winner. The winner for the agriculture and agri-processing sector is 
Kitab Farming and Projects taking away prize money. 131,250 rand coming your way. Now, moving on to those who develop infrastructure that we as society need and use every day. Here are the nominees for construction and engineering. My name is Mfana Maseko, founder and director of Triple M Electromech. Triple M Electromech is situated in Bethlehem Central of Free Street. Triple M Electromech is an engineering company specializing in refurbishing and rewinding of electrical motors and any kind of pumps. I feel very grateful and blessed to be a finalist in BIC Awards as this will afford me an opportunity to expand my business. What's special about my business uh, is that the service that I'm offering is a very, very a critical skill nationwide. And secondly, we're also preparing our clients with fourth industrial revolution as you know, the, the world is heading to that space. My passion is to develop an upcoming artisans and creating a platform and employment for them. My name is Angie Mabena and I'm the CEO for Pofu Supply on Demand. Our business um, is focused on infrastructure maintenance and uh, with a particular focus in corrosion protection, which is the uh, remedying of uh, metal structures. I feel very honored to be part of the finalists and I feel that it would be an opportunity to give more exposure to our company and what we do and, and hopefully bring more growth for our organization. What is special about both supply and demand is that we participate in a niche industry where um, black females have not participated in and we feel that we are part of the trailblazers to get other women to partake in this industry. What I'm most passionate about is skills development because I, with this niche industry that we are in, um, the skills required here are more in the artisan space and they actually can uplift a lot of communities. My name is Mike Moshala, and the name of my company is Jordan & Sons. We do mining services, uh, civil construction, and logistics. My biggest clients currently is Humo Kolari, a small mining uh, company. We are doing the management of the project that they are currently having, and uh, the Steve Chetter municipality where we're doing the construction work. Look, I'm passionate about uh, giving back the service to the community, doing a job properly, uh, using my professional skills, to execute the project. What makes us unique is that we are a professional company. Uh, we are not just providing services, uh, we are professionals, we've got qualified engineers in-house and we also execute the project on time and with the quality that the clients want. Being selected as a finalist is a great opportunity for us to also showcase ourselves and to showcase the business as well. And the fact that we are competing with other small businesses like ours so we can also learn from other people and see what they are doing. And if maybe there's good skill that they are also transferring, we can also learn from that. Wow, absolutely amazing. And the second runner up is... Triple M Electro Merch Services. Well done, you guys. Prize money also on its way to you. Congratulations. Now it is time for the first runner-up. And the first runner-up is... Jordan and Sons. You score yourself 75,000 rands. Well done, you guys. Congratulations to you too. It is now time for us to announce the winner for the construction and engineering sector. And the winner is... Powerful supply on demand trading. Congratulations, 131,250 coming your way for winning the construction and engineering sector. For businesses to make it this far in a competition, they are judged by a group of very experienced individuals. Some of them are entrepreneurs, some are professionals in business, some are investors and even economists. 
So thank you to all the judges for making themselves available and taking on this important task. On that note, we are now joined by one of the judges to get some insights on this year's competition. Precious Shabalala is a director at BDS Mining Contractors. So she knows a thing or two about construction and engineering. She's also been in various roles in the retail sector, which helps her understand trade and services. She's also worked with Shanduka Black Umbrellas, which focuses on business incubation and support. So this is the quality of judges, ladies and gentlemen, that we have here at BIC. Now, Precious, thanks for joining us. You've been a judge of this particular competition for four years now. And I'd love to know, give me a sense of two or three trends that you've seen in the SME sector over the years. Thank you, Andile. Um, the latest trends, especially now in 2020 and 2021, we've seen a great and significant entry levels of new businesses that are from graduates to your, your, your youth. Previously, we were struggling to get youth. However, the trends now is that the youth wants to be in business. They've never been, they've never worked before, but now they're deciding to go into business. And the second one, I'll say innovation. There's a great innovation out there. The creative business ideas that come through the BIC competition is great. I'll give you a great example. They are using their own South African products to create your hair products, your food uh, that we're eating right now. So it's, it's those kind of ideas that make us really happy or that make the BIC competition very interesting to see them taking what South Africa has produced and creating products that South Africa are consuming. That's really encouraging. So thank you so much for that, Precious. It's good to see that the culture of entrepreneurship is growing. And it's also good to see that innovation is coming through in the application. Let's talk about something that entrepreneurs don't like talking about, and that's mistakes, right? So, so what are some of the common mistakes you have seen the SMEs that have applied in the BIC this time around kind of making from time to time? Uh, as an entrepreneur myself, what I've seen as well with other entrepreneurs is we are planning to fail because we don't plan. So there was poor planning, especially wanting to enter your BIC competition. Your, your documentation has to be in place. So there's literally no excuse for you to say, I omitted this. So planning is very, very critical. And that's what a lot of entrepreneurs are not taking into consideration. The second thing is financial literacy. Our entrepreneurs don't really take time to understand their finances. You know, it, it's something else to be in business, but not understanding how, how your business operates, especially financially, it's, it's, it's critical, it's detrimental to your business. There's no way that you're going to be able to take that uh, business forward because your finances are not in place. And compliance, 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 compliance. In South Africa right now, compliance is detrimental to, for you to do business with ESCOM, for, in, for instance, for you to do business with, with the government ESCOM. We're talking about Things like Quaida, where you need to register, especially in my industry of, of construction and engineering, you need to register for things like Quaida for your people, for injuries, but, but our entrepreneurs are not taking that into consideration. The other last thing is researching your market. You need to understand your market for you to be able to do your proper SWOT analysis and for you to be able to plan strategically for your pastels. I mean, we look at the environment right now. We look at the political situation right now. If you have done your research and you have done your SWOT analysis correctly, we shouldn't be having an issue of no income because your, multi, your streams will, go, will be diverted. So yeah, those are the mistakes that we do as entrepreneurs and as entrepreneurs that we see or we judge at the BIC competition. Absolutely. And that, that, that research and that compliance point is so, so important. But I, I want to get my fellow entrepreneurs into the judge's mind now, right? Because a lot of the, mind, the money that they've won today is actually going to be invested in their businesses. That's the whole point of the BIC awards. Now, let's, let, let me understand from a judge's perspective, anything you can tell me that I can do to win some of that money. You know, I may have entered, uh, maybe I was not even a finalist. I'm nowhere in the top three of each of these categories. What can I do to get myself on the podium, whether it's these awards or any other investor that might be willing to give me some capital? 
you have to be attentive to your business because when BIC sent out all the the, the, document, the request for you to sub submit your documentation, for you to submit your profile. Your, your profile must be on point because if it makes it easier for us to read it through without you being there. So your profile is selling you without us seeing your face. But when we get the profile that is not up to standard, discouragement is like this person is not taking her business serious. And the second thing as well, as I said, compliance. If you are in, in, in manufacturing and you are not UIF, registered, you are not quite registered, you know, you don't even have a CIBD, you don't even know what a CIBD is. So you need to understand your market. So these are interlinked. You know, you have to be able to, 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 to tell us about your business without, you sell your business without being there. By the time we're going to interview you, we're already looking forward because your systems are in place and you, there's no other way that we can disadvantage you. Well, thank you so much, Precious. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found that useful. Precious Chabalala, a judge in this year's BIC Awards and of course, an entrepreneur in her own right. And I hope it also inspires you to enter next year's BIC and be on the podium and be either a second runner-up, a first runner-up, and who knows, maybe a winner in your category and maybe even a winner overall. The beautiful thing about this competition is that it allows us to reach businesses in various sectors which is a reminder that there are opportunities all around us, and very importantly, many different ways to serve our nation. Now it is time for us to have a look and see what the guys in manufacturing are up to. My name is Nwendo Ludada, and the name of our business is Ludada and Associates Orthopedic Services. Our business is assisting people with disabilities with assistive devices. So what we actually do here is we manufacture those assistive devices and we also supply other working aids. Being a finalist means a lot uh, to me. One, it means whatever that we are trying to do as a business is something that also makes sense to other people out there. They are seeing a value in what we are trying to do, so that means we are in the right direction. What is special about my business but to me, seeing someone coming to my premises with a wheelchair and coming back walking with their legs, to me, is special. What I'm most passionate about for me is change, because for people with disabilities to be equal members of the society, they need to be equally independent functionally and mobility-wise. My name is Orion Herman. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Liquid Gold Africa. Well, we play in the water and sanitation space. Uh, specifically, we design and manufacture unique waterless urinals, and we assist our clients by recovering valuable nutrients from urine and reutilizing it for the agriculture space for food security. After COVID, we had a tough year as a business, but we were able to grow. And being part of the BIC uh, just means we're on the right path. We reach a critical milestone. We look forward to the access to market, the access to networks, the opportunities this, this will open up for us, especially after the narrative of COVID, being able to grow the company through the right sort of platform. What makes us special is that we're able to offer our clients, end users, and their environment uh, unique sanitation technology that, that not only recovers nutrients but recovers water from the process that we use, allowing us to impact both public, private and environment. What I'm most passionate about is being able to have, you know, create jobs in an industry uh, that, that is battling. You know, we, we're able to close the loop uh, with nutrients uh, and we're able to generate our own fertilizer locally. More importantly, we are able to leave an impact uh, on the farmers, on this world, uh, in terms of sustainability. My name is Albert Lubisi, founder and CEO of AGP Manufacturing, currently based in KZN, Amazon Dodi to be precise. We produce automotive and allied component parts such as plastic injection molding and pressed metal parts. We are endlessly grateful to be nominated as one of the finalists as this proves that our effort in trying to improve the country's current uh, challenges such as high unemployment rate, local skill development, industry transformation to mention a few is recognizable. 
What is special about my business is the benefits for every stakeholder. For an example, economic future growth is inevitable. I'm extremely passionate about uh, innovation. Hence, my biggest aspiration is to see South African uh, automotive and allied industries being self-reliant in their manufacturing as well as their supply chain activities. We are moving into a bigger factory and our layout preparations are completed. Our SOP schedule is for early next year, that is in January to be precise. Well done, you guys. Now moving on to the second runner-up, and that is... Ludada and Associate Orthopedic Services. There you go, congratulations. 50,000 Rand on its way to you guys. Well done to the Ludada team. First runner-up is... AGP Manufacturing. Well done to you guys. 75,000 rands prize money on its way to AGP Manufacturing. It is now time for us to announce the winner in this manufacturing category. And the winner is... Liquid Gold Africa. Well done, Liquid Gold. There you go, 131,250. Also on its way to you guys as the winners in the manufacturing category. Now, as we move towards a more sustainable world, climate change forces us to find solutions to reuse and recycle everything we possibly can. It is great to see how South African businesses are embracing this in a variety of ways. Moving on to the vast sector of trade and services. Here are the nominees. My name is uh, Namahari Martin Kwale. I'm a co-founder of uh, MI Financial Solutions. Our business uh, uh, is an authorized financial services provider. We operate as an intermediary to distribute financial services uh, to predominantly the vulnerable and isolated members of our communities. Our business is unique in the sense that uh, in distributing these products, we went out to understand uh, what makes an uh, intermediary succeed in the environment and we found that the backbone of that is technology. Secondly, we also understand that uh, 8 out of 10 people uh, generally in the world are oral people. So we demystify financial services uh, lingo or language uh, through industrial theatre. To be one of the finalists, it really says a lot about uh, some of the foundations that we have built, that somebody out there is recognizing the groundwork or the work that we've put together and, and potentially giving us an opportunity to take it out there and share the technologies and the tools uh, with uh, other businesses as we distribute these products to the mass market. My name is Tanki Sohadebe. I'm the Managing Director of uh, Art Protections. We specialize in uh, security systems like your CCTVs, access control, electric fencing, and we do security guarding, your armed and unarmed guards, and uh, security training, CIRA trainings, and SACITA training. What is unique about our business is our quick response to our clients and our after-service uh, support. I am passionate about empowering other people and of course, uh, protecting your lives and the, love, the loved ones. It's an honor to be one of the nominees in this BIC Awards and we clear that uh, our hard work is recognized out there. Hi, my name is Damien Michael and the company name is Innova Networks. Innova Networks is a telecommunications provider and we help small and medium enterprises make the right technology decisions using cloud, connectivity, cyber security and communications. Innova Networks is unique because we provide best of breed products. We also provide our customers with a quick turnaround time. We want to ensure that our customers get a service that actually works. The reason why Innova Network started is because we want to help small businesses succeed in South Africa. 90% of small businesses in South Africa actually fail. And we want to help the community, the SME community, succeed by providing
best of breed services to them. Being nominated as a finalist in the BIC is really uh, amazing and uh, we would like to see the business grow. We would like to see that we could help other businesses succeed by you know, viewing what we've done and what we're doing and how we could disrupt the market in SA. Wow, those are some amazing nominees. Let's kick off with the second runner-up. Congratulations to our protections, B2R LTD, for winning themselves prize money of 50,000 rands. Well done, you guys. First runner-up in this category is... MI Financial Solutions, winning themselves prize money of 75,000 rands. Well done to you guys. As is always, you gotta get to the winner. And we are now at a point of announcing the winner of the trade and services category. The winner is... Innovo Networks, 131,250 rand of prize money. Congratulations to all our runner-ups and category winners. We hope this investment in your business really helps you to scale up so that you can grow and create even more employment opportunities. Don't forget to get in touch with us on the socials, please, on Facebook and on Twitter. Now, let's take a moment to celebrate. Let us celebrate with all our sector winners and runners-up. Down south when I said that I would call you Squeeze you a little bit of love I didn't want to But it's good to see you Tell me how you doing I didn't want to, to leave you down south When I said that I would call you Squeeze you a little bit of love I didn't want to Anyway And in the light of day I didn't know this And everything she would I didn't want to leave you down south when I said that I would call you, squeeze you a little bit of love. I didn't want to. Anyway, I could have told you all the time you wanted to hear it eyes i'm seeing it all clear you seem to be surprised remember how we say someday we'll set sail it took me so much to get to where we are and right now you are slowing me down down slowing me down down trying to get up it's supposed to hold me down it's different and being you as it may seem the light shines in the dark i couldn't see in, in the, the light of day everything we dreamed i didn't know this it's how you react it's a kill and dream. everything she was Welcome back and once again, well done to our category winners and the runners up. The energy is in the room. We are getting close to the end because you see, it is now time for you to stand up from your couch, stand up from your chair, your desk, wherever you are, and join me as we congratulate the overall winner of this year's business investment competition. Are you on your feet? Are you ready? Okay. The overall winner of the ESCOM Development Foundation's Business Investment Competition for 2021 is... Dante Group, ladies and gentlemen! My name is Rachel Khafani. 
I'm from a company called Denji Group. We do steel components manufacturing and steel fabrication for the automotive and engineering industry. We design using um, the CAD software systems that does designs. We manufacture according to the ISO standards and then we supply and it doesn't end there. We also um, take the client's products and we do refurbishment for afterlife. I am passionate about making a change in this industry. I saw it's very traditional and conventional, so I wanted to bring the young, uh, youthful and uh, innovative way of manufacturing. I am also passionate about bringing change in how the artisans are, are treated in this industry by you know, giving them more employee benefits and making change in their lives and employing more people. It feels amazing to be part of the finalists this year, so it means I am doing something right. Super well done to Tanchi Group. We are incredibly proud of you. I now hand you over to one of the key people who have made all of this possible, the CEO of the ESCOM Development Foundation, Mr. Cecil Ramonotti, to bring our time together to a close. Cecil? Thank you. Program Director, ESCOM Board Members, ESCOM Group Executive for Government and Regulatory Affairs, Ms. Antato Minyuku, ESCOM Development Foundation Board Chairperson, Ms. Sureta Mulman, ESCOM Development Foundation Board Members, ESCOM Executives and Staff, esteemed entrepreneurs, our business partners and stakeholders, finalists of the BIC, members of the media, distinguished guests, good evening. Once again, this year's business investment competition, which we term BIC Awards Ceremony, happens against the backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic, which continues to have a negative impact on businesses and individuals alike. The advent of the pandemic has had a devastating effect on small, medium and micro enterprises, SMEs, that were already battling with persistent challenges associated with the lack of funding. The 2020 SASME COVID-19 Impact Report released by the FinFind in November 2020 last year showed that 42% of business had closed shop during the first five months of the pandemic. Of concern is the recent announcement by Statistics South Africa that the country's unemployment rate has risen to 34.9% in the third quarter of 2021, with a young population of our country at the receiving end. It serves as a stark reminder that SMEs will continue to require considerable support from the public and private sector and from all of us in our individual capacities. SMEs make 98.5% of the formal economy across all sectors in South Africa, accounting for 28% of formal jobs in the country. ESCOM realizes the important role SMEs play not only towards the country's economic recovery plan, but also in the attainment of the broader goals of economic transformation, job creation, and poverty elevation. Therefore, the business investment competition whose purpose is to empower SMEs is even more apt. This program which has been making a meaningful contribution to small businesses since 2012 has seen considerable growth over the years with entries increasing by 322% in 2020 compared to 2016. As we continue to refine our broader corporate social investment approach in order to be more structured, integrated, and unfragmented to become more impactful and benefit a larger population of a society, we are also heightening the call to designated groups, particularly women, youth, and people with disability to participate in the business investment competition. We aim to support sustainable initiative that work towards delivering long-lasting results to our communities. More work still needs to be done, and thus will continue to require a multi-stakeholder approach. Suffice it to say that the ESCOM Development Foundation remains grateful for its cooperative partnership with both government and private sector in driving developmental programs. Let me thank you all for joining us and sacrificing your personal time and space with us. Our sincere gratitude all goes to the event organizers, our judges, and all partners. Without their support, this event would not have been a success. On behalf of ESCOM Development Foundation, I express 
gratitude to all the participants in the business investment competition and offer my congratulations to the winners. Take care and be safe. I thank you.